what's going on everybody this is going to be a video about the neobat q11 very excited to try this guy out the fact that it has front facing lidar built in the body is very cool most lidar has a dome on top of the robot that has to spin and it sticks out a good half of an inch and that stops a lot of the lidar based robots from going under couches and stuff like that so this should be able to fit under couches with no issue no problems of getting stuck and this also has obstacle avoidance and it even shows in my materials that they sent me that it should be able to see little cables or shoelaces and stuff like that and avoid it so this is going to be awesome to test out this particular video is going to be going over the app i'm going to have full reviews on this guy in every single way possible and i am pretty excited to try this guy out so let's go ahead and look at the app i just downloaded this so we're going to be kind of going through it together. I don't know a ton about it, but let's check it out. As you can see, this is the main home page. You can see the battery's at 100%. And that full power is either the suction mode or it's just saying that you're at basically 100%. So you click into the app. I don't have a map yet because I haven't even ran this guy, which I will be doing as soon as this video is over. It came out. And then went back in. That's why it has kind of a partial map. It's basically one quick scan with the LiDAR. I think this map is going to be simply amazing. And I honestly cannot wait to test this guy out. So let's go ahead and look through this app a little bit. As you can see in the bottom left corner, it's showing that it's charging. And then it says go, which I think that's kind of cool. Just kind of changing it up a bit. Making it kind of more cool. And I don't know, to me, a go is cooler than start. Uh, let's click on some of these random things to the right bottom. We're going to click on this cube. Uh, the water power. And then it's pretty funny. It has the suck power. So obviously that's suction. And I think in this first test, since this, I'm going to do this on my large floor plan, we're going to be doing it at just the normal suction power. I really want to see how if this can handle my entire floor plan with one charge. If it can, that will be absolutely amazing and it'll make this thing just that much better. I hate robot vacuums. I don't hate them, but I hate that part of them where they go out and they have to come back and recharge for several hours and then go back out, turning an hour, hour and a half job into three plus hours. To me, that's, that's unacceptable. So anyways, that's, so you can change the water and you can change the suck. <laughs> I don't know, I find that funny. Let me know in the comments if you think that's funny. On the left here, these two squares, not exactly sure. Okay, so that's going to be a forbid setting. I'm assuming that is no-go zones. We will mess with that after this makes a map. And then up here in the corner, you can have the light volume, which there's a light bar on the top of this, which I actually really like. I'll show you that in the review. That's how bright it is. I'll just keep it on the standard setting. Find the robot in case, say, it gets stuck under a couch or for whatever reason you can't find it just click that cleaning plan that's going to be how you can set up we'll do more of that as soon as the map is done actually let's just check it out now okay so nothing's here yet because i haven't ran it and then more functions you can see uh the map you, this is where you create the rooms and all that good stuff with the map uh, firmware update, of course, the cleaning record, consumables, how often you should replace, and then check this out, this dust collection management. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I wish they would have gone one step further, and let me know in the comments before I say it what you think that one step further would be. So you can collect the dust every 90 minutes, 60 minutes, or 30 minutes. So if you ask me, that is a huge step in the right direction. I've been saying this for a long time now, that these self-empty bins need to have a timer that it goes back and empties. 30 minutes is going to be perfectly fine for a house that's typically pretty clean, but for like, say for like the test I do, or a kid drops an entire bowl of cereal and it goes over the cereal, but it's going to fill up before it finishes your house because it has all that cereal in it. The step further I was saying, if you could just go ahead and make it whatever time frame you want. Now that to me would be amazing. For my test, for instance, I would set it to maybe five or 10 minutes. If you know that it's gonna go clean up that giant bowl of cereal your kids spilled or whatever, you know, have it go out for five minutes, 
come back and then send it out and it'll go back and do the rest of its job. So I really like that. I really wish, and this is gonna be the future of self empty bins. Since they can't put in a sensor in the dirt bin like Roomba has because of their patent, they have to find more clever ways to send this guy back before he gets full. So I love this about that. I would assume in some updates they can lower that. And I would just absolutely love it. I will be telling them about that because they they sent me this unit to review and they want my feedback and that's definitely something I'm telling them. So that's gonna be a quick look at the app. Um, as soon as I send this guy out and it comes back, we will look over the map it made. I'll be able to separate the rooms, add the no-go zones, and I'll let you know how long it took to clean and all that awesome stuff. So stay tuned. I got, I'm gonna have probably 10 videos just about this guy and all the different functions it has. We'll be doing obstacle avoidance down in my testing room, as well as a pickup test, the gauntlet, you name it, this guy is gonna be going through it. So if you like these videos, please smash that like button, consider subscribing, leave a comment below, and I would really appreciate that. So I will be back when this guy's done, and we will check out the map. All right, everybody, check out the map that it made. This is probably the best looking map I have gotten from a robot vacuum. It is extremely accurate. Even right over here, this little rectangle on the right, that is my coffee table. I've never had one so accurately show my coffee table. And then the thing above that, that is my couch. It even shows the couch legs. Those little squares there, those are literally the couch legs. Over here, this is another couch. And then around that area is my coffee table. So massively impressed with this. It got the division wall in the middle of my house better than I've seen any robot do. Um, right here we have my dining room table, extremely accurate. This cut out here in the middle, that is literally where the narwhal is. So it perfectly cut that out. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing. This white dot here is my toilet. And then these dots here is my computer chair. So I am very pleased with the map itself. And it gave me this map right away. It only got better as it went. So it's pretty cool. I definitely love that. So let's go into the app and See how easy it is to separate the rooms. Let's see here. The area manager. So as you can see, we can click this square. Let's go ahead and do the kitchen, which is just at this small area. I don't think you have to be perfectly precise with this, as long as you have the general area. Gonna be good to go. There we go. Now it knows just to clean the kitchen. And check mark that. Then you go back in there. I guess you have to go in and out, which is fine, not a big deal. We're gonna add another one. Let's do the bathroom. That right there. It's gonna be really all we don't want to go on that side of the wall, though. You know, get it as close as you can. That's going to clean your bathroom. So here's a little tip. See how on the bottom left corner of this box, I'm picking up the other room? If you have rooms like that, you can go down to this plus below the square. And then this one, you can size the room however you want. Let's start here. A little bit harder to... Ten point. Then you come straight across there. Follow that, go up. And then basically like that. And once again, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't see why being outside of the walls is gonna hurt anything at all. This is the living room. 
And now we're going to go and do the den. And just put entryway. Okay. See, once again, here's an issue. I have to use the other one because if I wanted to do this, that's the only way to get the whole entryway. So X out of that, grab this one instead. Drag it on over. And you can literally just make it fit in there, which is pretty cool. You can even add another one, see? There we go. So now you got the in entryway. Laundry room. All right, good. So we finally got it. It wasn't too hard. The good part is once you have it, you're pretty much good to go until you have to redo the map or move your house around or whatever you need to do. We got the kitchen, the dining room, living room. Laundry room, entryway, bathroom, office, foyer, and den. That's very good. See, area cleaned. You can pick whatever rooms you want. So let's say people came in the den. People came in the foyer and was messing around in the den. You can literally just click go now. It's going to go just to those sections and clean it, which is really nice. And let's see. I think this is no-go zones. Yeah, here we go. No-go. See, personally, I don't really need it to avoid anywhere. Let's pretend I did, and I wanted it to completely avoid this couch area. But it fits nicely under the couch, so I don't have to worry about that. I could just add that there, and then I can name it Couch. And... There you have it. So that section is now blocked, which I'm going to go ahead and keep it there for testing purposes. Um, and I'll tell you if it completely avoids behind the couch. So it should completely avoid the chair and couch and just make its way, sneak its way right through that little gap there. So that's pretty much it for this app and map. As you can see, you can change the suck. <laughs> I still find that's funny. Why can't they just put suction? But anyways, everybody would know what that means regardless. And uh, so far, the app and map is great. And sneak peek, I will be having the full review very soon. The robot itself is doing very good. There's a couple of tiny complaints, but overall, I'm quite impressed. We will be doing obstacle avoidance tests down there. We'll be doing a full testing room test. And I really do think overall, this is going to be a very good robot vacuum. So stay tuned for the review, and let me know in the comments what you want to see the Neobot Q11 tackle, and I'll definitely get that tackled for you guys. Have an awesome day, and I will see you all in the next video.